Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. <laughs> I'm going to be the one ask, asking the questions, Mike. Um, one Rental at a Time works community all over Facebook. Everybody is excited about this event next February. So I figure I would help them all out, ask you some questions because I'm sure a lot of people got it. Hopefully, everybody got the link. I know you sent out the event, Bright. Um, and then a couple people, myself included posted it where people ask like, yeah. how do I get the link to the event? But, um, I didn't dig much beyond that besides yeah. block the dates in my calendar. Yeah. Tell my wife, are you going, going. or are you not going? <laughs> um, and then, um, yeah, but from there, where, where, where are we having this shindig at? Yeah. So let's kind of paint the picture for folks. So I first off, never thought I would host, I'll call a big event. Right. When I started one rental at a time, uh, it wasn't it wasn't on my uh, vision board, if you will. Uh, but about three years ago and about 8000 subs, uh, you know, a buddy of the three amigos goaded me into declaring that if we ever got to 50,000 subs, I would throw a party again, 8000, 50,000. Sure, no problem. Uh, and then, you know, I put a number on, it. I'm like, Hey, you know, I don't know what a Vegas event costs, but 10,000 bucks out to do it. Right. So, uh, lo and behold, we got to 50,000 subs about six weeks ago or so. So for the last six weeks, I have been calling around to casinos, hotels, and trying to get something booked. And I was always targeting February. That way it gives people time. It's after the Super Bowl. It's, it just felt like the right choice. And, um, so I've called 50, about 50 places. And first and foremost, if you're not a big event, uh, the casinos really don't want to deal with you. Of the few that got to a point to give me a quote, it was 100 grand minimum for 250 people. Wow. That's a little bit beyond my budget and would have to make me charge ticket prices that are above what I would could deem reasonable. So then I'm like, well, you know what? I've hosted a lot of events over the past or been to events at hotels. So let's go to a hotel off the strip. Maybe go to Henderson versus Las Vegas. Good news is prices came down, but to about 50 grand, 45 to 50 grand. Still more than I wanted to spend, but I would have done it if I had to. And uh, then I, this for your networking and whatnot, I actually found something called the Blind Center. And I want to pull this up just so people can see what it is. And because they hear the Blind Center, they're like, hey, is that somebody's last name or? You know, what is the Blind Center? So here it is. The Blind Center of Las Vegas is a nonprofit that supports the blind of Nevada. So they have a facility, which you will see. That's the place right there where they're playing bingo. Uh, we're going to be hosting our thing. So what happens at the Blind Center is they have their services Monday through Friday. They are closed Saturday and Sunday. So what they try to do is rent out the facility. Saturday and Sunday to recoup costs so that they can support the blind of Las Vegas and Nevada. So this, you know, obviously feels good to me. So my dollars are going to a nonprofit and organization that uh, I support as, as opposed to a, a big casino. Love it. Love it. And um, there's more. So I'm in this room, right? I'm walking through that big room where they were playing bingo and I'm like, okay, I'm down. I'll, I'll pay your price. I won't nickel and dime you. I'll pay what you want for Saturday and Sunday. Two, I will rent the whole space. Even if, even though I don't need it, let's rent the whole space so that weekend's covered. You don't have to try to rent out partial space. I want the whole thing, which I didn't have to do, but we did. And then I, then I said, okay, well, here's my vision. Because I, I want to make this educational and fun. So we're doing this Saturday and Sunday a President's Day weekend, which hopefully makes it easier for people to fly out because you can fly out Monday, you're not missing work. But here's the deal. On Monday, we're going to go from 8 to 6, or yeah, 8 to 6, uh, content, speakers, all of that. 6 to 8 will be networking. We will have sponsors there with tables so you can mingle and do all of that. Uh, sponsors actually will have a spot for both days, um, all, all, all the days if they want it. But... Um, what we're going to do at eight o'clock is we're going to have a concert. I've gone the extra mile and paid for a concert by their group called the Broken Spectacles. It's an all blind, uh, I'm going to call it band for lack of a better word. Uh, that's going to give us an hour concert from eight Love to it. 9 p.m. on Saturday. <laughs> Love it. 
it's going to be a probably a life an experience I certainly never forget. So we're gonna have, they're gonna sing to us. Then from nine to ten, we're gonna have the party, right? I don't know what I'm gonna do, but you can expect me to do something from nine to ten to celebrate fifty thousand because that's what this event was to celebrate fifty thousand. So we're gonna do that. So that's Saturday. We're going from eight to ten p.m. This is off site, not near a hotel. I, I would suggest Uber or lifting it there. There is spots for 100 cars if you want to drive. Um, but yeah, we're going all day. Now, food. VIPs, I am paying for food for lunch, dinner, lunch. There's a pri One of the rooms I've booked is where the VIPs will have lunch, dinner, and lunch. And why is that important? Because if you want to network with the speakers, that's where they're going to have lunch, dinner, and lunch. So instead of trying to network around 250 or 300 folks, you're going to get them for three times in this private room. For um, the general admission, again, trying to keep costs right, we have arranged, and again, the Blind Center did this for me, they're going to have food trucks brought in for lunch, dinner, and lunch. Um, so you will, if you're a general admission, you will be buying your own lunch, dinner, and lunch. If you want to bring your lunch in a backpack, go nuts, do whatever you like. Um, but that's one way for me to keep costs down and for me not to have, you know, like 17 different options. So we're doing that. Um, so that's all of that. But um, at the end of the day, I am, I'm ecstatic doing it here. It, it, it I guess the last thing. So I have, you didn't see the event in Fresno. You, you couldn't make it because you, I think one of your son's basketball games. Yep. But what, what I did a trial one in November of last year was, is it, this event's going to be like nothing other. Every speaker is going to get an hour. The first 10 to 15 minutes, they'll talk about what we, what he, he or she and I agree on. And then they're going to get to, the audience is going to stand up. There'll be a microphone on the left and a microphone on the right where people will ask questions. This event of 11 millionaires will be 80% driven by the audience. Whatever questions they want, they can ask. You have a burning question for the lumberjack or Dion or whoever. Um, it's 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 going to be there for them. So again, an event like no other. So I, uh, it's it, this has only been out for now 36 hours probably. We've already sold out 50% of the VIPs. Uh, in about ten percent of the general emission. Yeah, My hope I love it. And 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 you yeah. know, for for any community, um, you know, it's great to be a part of it, be in a Facebook group asking questions. There's nothing like getting together in person. Yeah. And, you know, whether it's, you know, my mortgage business and meeting with brokers from across the country, whether it's, you know, real estate investment clubs, like getting in front of somebody and chatting is that you can't replace it. And so I'm, I'm super stoked for it to, to be yeah. quite honest. Like I look forward to in-person events and I feel like, you know, if you're looking to grow, you're looking to level up in anything, real estate investing, you know, whatever it is, uh, getting in a room with other people with similar goals and, and vision, yeah. um, is, is super important. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it, man. It's already, it's already blocked out on my calendar. So I'll be there and uh, I'm looking forward to meeting a bunch of the yeah. one rental at a time community that I've talked to over the phone that I've interacted with on Facebook and all that get to, you know, shake their hands, see them in person. Um, uh, yeah. And just so you know, there'll be a third room for, you know, if you wanted to just chill out. So again, I rented the whole place, right? So main room, which everybody saw where they were playing bingo. There's a back room that'd be for the VIPs lunch, dinner, lunch. And then there's a third room I got uh, just if people wanted to chill out, relax, you know, if you want to, you know, get, get clear before your speech or something. So there'll be a speaker room if you just want to kind of chill out there. So, um, cool. yeah, man, I, uh, I'm excited. I got to tell you when I agreed to this three years ago, I didn't, I didn't really think it was possible. It just, I, it just wasn't where my head was at, but, uh, we're here now we're going to, uh, exceed expectations. I expect a lot of people, Matt, to come to you and just take your picture, right? They've been hearing you for three years. <laughs> yeah, which, selfie. which is yeah. fun, man. I mean, I I'm gonna be taking pictures with with some of them. When I went to that real estate meetup in in uh, the Bay Area, you know, there was yeah. uh, one rental at a time follower agent, you know, uh, yeah. who's out there buying stuff. And to be quite honest, the the shift in 
a lot of industries where I do a lot more Zoom calls, a lot more phone um, is, is kind of sad. When I get to meet a client in person, like I've got somebody coming by my office today at three o'clock. It doesn't happen that often, right? And so when I get to do it and I get to say, hey, Facebook friend, hey, friend of the internet, like <laughs> here we are, you know. Yeah, in, in, like, I really do exist. I'm not an avatar. The flesh, right? I love it. So I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be fun. I um I am excited about doing it at the blind center. I actually told them if this is half as good as I expect it to be, I will come back here. Right. I should Yeah, I mean I was I, I was gonna make to you a... make a promise for a hundred thousand. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not ready to do that yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, I won't I won't I won't hold you to it. But yeah, I mean it's it's uh a great event, a, a good, you know cause that we're like supporting by holding yeah. it there, which is, which is super cool. Um, my, my grandmother dealt with blindness and she actually was a volunteer at a blind center in Sacramento, oh. um, where I'm sure they did a lot of the similar stuff. Um, she grew up in churches playing music. And, and so when you talk about the blind center, you talk about them holding a, a concert with all blind, it just brings up all these cool memories of, of my grandma who loved music and, and, you know, for the last five to 10 years, um, you know, was, was blind. Um, it's going to be cool, man. Yeah. The broken spectacles. What a great yeah. name. Great. Name. Matt, if great somebody name. wanted to reach out to you and see what's what, maybe set up a time to meet you at the event. Uh, how, how should they do that? Yeah. To connect with us and get yourself pre-approved, no matter where you're at in the country, go to greatmortgagebroker.com. Love to have a conversation, love to help you, you know, structure a mortgage, get you headed in the right direction. And if you're able to, I highly, highly recommend February 17th and 18th out in Vegas. I'll be there probably fly in Friday night, probably fly home uh, Sunday evening. Um, gosh, I wonder if the elementary school basketball is going to start then. Whatever the case, it's blocked. It's in the calendar. Everything else is going to have That's to fit gone. around it. So <laughs> greatmortgagebroker.com is always the place to go to get pre-approved. And then uh, looking forward to seeing you in Vegas. There you go. Thanks, buddy.